So I've, wanting to, I've been wanting to do a video on this for a little while. Um, this is one of our roach colonies. We keep these guys downstairs. Uh, this used to be my old aquarium tank. It's a 55 gallon. Uh, it was donated by a former friend. They're the one who put all the, uh, the stickers on the back that can't seem to get off. But uh, we keep giant pepper roaches in here as well as hissing cockroaches. Um, thought I turned the, uh, the flash off, but it's back on. Uh, sorry if there's any glare. But um, we're in the process. Um, we've pulled all the egg crate, and we've started buying things like driftwood for the cage. Um, we're, we're slowly getting it switched over to driftwood. And I've recently come to realize that uh, places like Joanne Fabric have uh, plastic plants like this. Like, I paid $4 for this plant. That would have been like $20 at a pet store. Um, so we're going to add a little bit more wood to the cage, um, probably some cork bark, and uh, then we're going to fill it up with plants, like flowers, all kinds of pretty stuff to make it look neat. But I've been wanting to show you guys some of these roaches. These are some of our favorites. Um, there we go. I wanted to get some kind of hiss on camera. Um, so we've got hissers in here. There's, they're a colony that's just kind of starting. Um, you can see there's another female over here underneath the plant. She's gravid. Is this another boy? Nope, they're both girls. They're uh, too gravid to hiss. Um, and then you can see we've got the pepper roaches all around. Um, the pepper roaches are Rachel's colony. She originally started with these a while back. And uh, we've had them for, for many years now. Um, don't know if you guys have ever seen how big these are. They're really cool roaches. Um, pretty docile, good size. Uh, they don't have that funky smell that some of the bigger roaches have. But uh, also really calm. I'm a big fan of these guys. Also really pretty patterns on them. Uh, they look like they're covered in pepper which is how they get their name. There you go, sweetie. But, uh, but yeah, these are our roaches. Um, we've got probably about a thousand of the, uh, the peppered roaches in here. Um, a lot of them stay buried or underneath the logs. Um, we're working on the hissers. I know we've got at least a hundred babies in here now. Um, just as a, a, a guess on the number, really. And uh, we're looking at, I think we have five adults at the moment. Uh, one male and four females. Um, I may be missing that. I think we might have one more male that I'm forgetting. But uh, everyone's doing super, super good. Um, we're going to a reptile show in a couple of months. And I'm really hopeful that uh, I can find some kind of millipede that can cohabitate with the roaches. So we can have a, just a random millipede walking around. Uh, we have springtails in here as well, uh, which is why we keep it a little moist. And uh, you can see we've got buffalo beetles wandering around. Um, they're a little bit of a cleanup crew. Um, I spilled some uh, green onions in the kitchen the other day, so we're waiting to see if they'll actually eat those or not. Um, and then we're talking about adding some isopods in here as well uh, for some extra cleanup crew. Uh, we found one in the apartment recently, and so it's uh, been wandering around in here for about a week now. Um, I saw it a minute ago, but it seems to have wandered away. But yeah, just wanted to share this awesome roach colony with you guys. Uh, once I get it filled completely back up with uh, decorations, um, I'll do some more videos on it because it's going to look really pretty. Um, hope you guys like this, and I'll see you next time.